Hello stamping friends, this is Jenny from Celebrate the Journey and I am here virtually with you while we're on vacation. So I've pre-recorded a couple videos so that you'll be um, inspired while we're having some much needed time away and a couple of them are pumpkins so we're going to call it a parade of pumpkins and then we'll probably switch to something else for a couple days but this pretty pumpkins is just the coolest um, stamp set I, I wasn't going to get it because I really didn't think I needed it but then the more I've played with it I've come up with lots of ideas so it's got some nice sentiments but then it's got these pretty little pumpkins so I went ahead and pre um, stamped and cut these so that um, we could go ahead and color them. And I think I probably need a piece of paper underneath that just in case it wants to bleed through. Sometimes um, blends do bleed through which is why we don't put them, use them on the card front, we always layer with that. So we'll go ahead and color our little pumpkins here. When I was picking these colors out, I realized I really needed to order some new uh, blends. A couple of them were getting uh, frayed on the tips. So let's start with pumpkin, pumpkin pie. That's an easy one. And we'll make our largest pumpkin. The pumpkin, a regular pumpkin color. It's not so that these tips are frayed they get soft I guess the more you use them and they don't seem it's harder for me to get a crisp edge but they're so inexpensive I don't mind ordering extras um, I'm just going to work on that there when we're going to go over it with the dark anyway. So I think we'll be okay with that. So we'll do dark pumpkin pie. I'll use the fine tip so I can get up in there. Now we can go back with closer. You don't want to get too close to the edge. It's going to go ahead and it's going to bleed a little bit. So if you just stay away from the edge, it'll go ahead and bleed into it. And you won't have to worry about that. Now we can fill in with the broader tip. And I'll hopefully get some little highlights going. So while we're on vacation, I have an ordering special for you. And so for every $35 you spend, I will send you 10 card fronts suitable for a regular um, A2 size card. Most of them will be holiday.
So I've got some things I've got to kind of clear out. Retired stuff that I'm... I wish I had time to use, but I don't. But maybe you do. And that way you'll have some extra uh, card fronts. And that you can use just a quick little label that says Merry Christmas and add a ribbon and some rhinestones and your card will be finished for you. So we'll add some Granny Apple Green here to the leaves. So if you want to uh, know about that, look on my blog or on the newsletter and um, my Facebook page or on the newsletter and you'll see about the ordering special. And everything will be mailed when we get back from our trip. can go ahead and do these leaves. This is light granny apple green and we'll go in with the dark and add some dimension. You know, a pumpkin is really a squash, I think. So we're going to color some of these as if they were squash. Pumpkins come in so many colors anyway. And I love pumpkin pie. It's my favorite of all pies. I read this morning that there's a shortage of pumpkin. Last year it was a shortage because of the drought, and this year it's a shortage because they had a fungus. Um, I think it's just payback, COVID payback. I don't know. We'll add some... darkness here. It's funny when I'm doing this, since I'm recording this, I can't, I don't have comments, but I will go back and read your comments. See, I probably need the fine tip here. There we go, we've about filled those in there, haven't we? I am not talented enough to make that vine be green, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and I can handle that. So I have Daffodil Delight. Seems like I had Saffron, yeah. I'm going to mix those two together and make a yellow pumpkin, or pumpkin, depends on how you want to say it. This is kind of yellowy orange, it's a little bit of orange in it, doesn't it? Do 
do a little daffodil to light there. Kind of. Add to that. Now our squash blossoms can be mango. I think here. As they get lighter as they bloom. see what this I think yeah that's like mango melody and we're going to make this pumpkin be closer to this color Remember how um, the other day we did, we talked about using designer series paper for your die cuts? And so we're going to use this. This is Christmas paper, actually. But I liked the darkness of it, and I liked the lines. I thought they would look nice to be die, die cut there. So I'm going to use, um, I think this is terracotta. No, Cajun Craze, and a little bit of Cherry Cobbler mixed together, so we'll see how that works. Light Cajun Craze is what we'll start with. And... Uh, all of these pumpkins can be so many different colors. It's a little bit harder cutting it to me after I've die cut them, but I wanted to go ahead and save a little time to do the magic of time lapse, I guess. So we'll add just a little bit of red, and then we'll kind of blend it in, the cherry cobbler. Let's see, this is the darker Cajun craze. And I should bleed that color in there nicely. Well, that looks pretty good. Not as red, but it's okay because you want a little variety there. I need to get up there behind the leaf and put some color. Oh. Don't want to miss that little spot. I will need to do that with the fine tip, definitely. I can't. It's a pretty small spot. Now our stems need to be brown, so I got um, soft suede. I know some of you, some people um, go pick their own pumpkins, just like you pick your own strawberries or 
That would be fun to go to the pumpkin patch. Oh, this is going to be a pretty quick card now. Now we're finished coloring. We just put it together. So I've put um, adhesive sheet on the back here. So we'll go ahead and die cut this. All these little lacy edges on the pumpkin really need the adhesive sheet to hold it down. We've got a cherry cobbler card base since we used that. I used the contour, scalloped contours, and cut a nice little frame. I think that kind of pops it out nicely to have a white frame there. We'll go ahead and put that on. And I'm using another piece of designer series paper from a different set. I'm trying to use everything up. I think this is Beauty of the Earth. We're going to put that there. But I need to stamp our sentiment on here. And I chose So Thankful for You. Hmm, and we'll stamp that with early espresso. Guess I'll have to get that off the shelf. Didn't have it here on my desk. And this kind of looks like wallpaper, doesn't it, on the back? So that works nice. Little interest. And we'll put that right on here. I love these scalloped contour dies have been well worth the investment. Use them all the time. fingers are clean here and we'll add everything on with some dimensionals except for this little pumpkin will go on first because it's with the adhesive so you can see the swirls there I was trying to think of what we call them and we'll pick out the majority of them, but I think once we pull the adhesive off the back, the rest will just come right out. It's the good thing about the adhesive. It, it makes these little pieces pop out quicker, I think. Easier, maybe. Okay. Wow, those popped out very quick. Must have been a lucky day. And we'll go ahead and get that started. There we go. It's 
kind of funny looking we see it on the back with cats and dogs but that's actually kind of cute there <laughs> see using your designer series paper for a die cut you wouldn't know that's cats and dogs in christmas paper it's just an interesting little color design we got to use up our stuff so then we can get some more. Now we'll put these on with dimensionals. And then we'll just be about through. I don't think I'm going to put any bling on this one. I think it's got enough going on for it with it. We'll put our little this one and this one. So these are going to overlap. We're only going to put dimensionals on the ends and then we'll put some adhesive for the little vine. We want to make sure it sticks well. Without making a mess, I could add some little rhinestones here, but I don't know. I'll have to think about it. And then that one hangs off the side. And now we need the inside. So I have this and I was going to just stamp one of these vines. And I'm just going to leave it black. Not colored in. I, I like that look sometimes. I think it looks gives it some interest and well if you had a sentiment that says happy thanksgiving you could add that or this could just write your own little message My messy finger there. Let's see if we can erase that little spot. Looks okay there. So here's our so thankful for you card in the pumpkin parade. So I hope you'll join me for the rest of the week for some more pumpkin cards. Just pop in whenever you feel like it. Since these are recorded, they won't you won't get a notification. So you'll just have to check in once in a while and see what kinds of things I've posted. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our pumpkin card today. Bye.